Hollywood has really outdone themselves this time. Pretty much every single toy is available this weekly with an insane support system to back it up. The possibilities are endless and it feels so rewarding. Y'all gotta check out this weekly, just go play it. These guys are good enough. We can use that extra gold next turn. <laughs> Barbaric failures. That is aggressive. Okay, good hits. Tennis ball against pigs is generally favorable. Let's roll. Ooh. Let's actually do this. Freeze you. And we'll get the tier 2 into a tier 3 level up. Brother, you don't even have a toy. What are you doing? You gotta sell that, that cuddle toad. Okay, level mate. Into a balloon. And then we grab Foo Dog, of course. Because Foo Dog's goaded. Pass. I don't even think we need you. Magpie is gonna go. Just not sure when yet. Hold on. So Griffin on break. Oh, hold up. You can break the toy with the mandrill. Okay. This is what we have to do. We get our level 3 griffin, get a level 2 mandrill, pill it in shop, and then we're golden. Alright, care to you. Do a little buy sell here. Roll me. I mean, I'll straight up run either of you. nothing. We go here, throw the swan in. Honestly, let's get the swan statted a little. I think that would be very good. Man, all of these. Oh, hey, <laughs> that works. Okay, big. Let's go there to you. Little buy sell, you know how it is. Throwing a lemur. Garlic press, of course. Well, now I want to go puppy. <laughs> Do a little buy sell. You gotta really commit to whatever toy you're running. That's what I'm learning here. Sure. I think this is sufficient. We can override this garlic next turn. We'll have an actual garlic. But I mean, look how strong garlic is right here. Now, that's probably not news to anybody, but <laughs> it's very good. Oven mitt here. Garlic. Might as well grab you as well. Okay, so now I think we can go Griffin. Start getting you cooking up a bit. And I think we're just gonna get the the swan as our, our big unit. All of our lasagnas are gonna funnel straight into him. Manta ray is tempting. I can't say that's like the the play, you know? No, none of those. None of these. Maybe just start giving you some stuff, you know? Here to you. Throwing a crow. Is that better? 
at 6-6 six, six every two turns on one unit. I think I actually like the 4-6 spread out better. So realistically, we could stack the Flying Squirrel. With the Stingray. Let's do that. That's fair. <laughs> that, that's definitely fair. Okay, we go here. We go here. Big. Huge. Okay. We can get rid of Stingray now. Maybe we get rid of this homie too, for the time being. What are you, three friends bit break? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty strong. I'll give it to you. Dude, there's so many good toys here. <laughs> this is overwhelming. What if we don't even need Flying Squirrel? Like, what if we do this? And then we grab Mosasaurus. Run something like that. We can get rid of the crow next turn. There's like way too many options. <laughs> There's too many toys. And you can't run them all even if you want to. Okay, we go Mongoose here. Mongoose into television. We go here. Don't think we do the crow. Those are fantastic buy cells, by the way. This is a very interesting weekly. The reason being is there's just, you're inundated with so many good options that you just don't know which one you want, <laughs> you know? It's like, which one do you even go with? You can't say. Yeah, let's go here. I think we do this. Try to get as much as we can out of this. Give you a lemon. Straight up, maybe just a 12-12. Not too bad. Close. We need some Pumas. I think that's what we're missing right now. Straight up. <laughs> I'm giving up on the Griffin play. I'm sorry, I know. I can hear the boos already, but it's just how it has to be. Pancakes, sure. Um, I honestly think this is worth it. Belly you. Go here. What do you got here? We'll roll, trigger you. Oh, this is just better. Okay, we got a pale all pangolin, pill somebody. Getting all pangolin, or I'll blobfish pill someone.
I've decided that I like money build better. <laughs> I'm giving up on the griffin. Roll me. I mean, this is definitely worth it, right? And we go here. I think we go chicken leg on you. I like this. Dude, this is kind of cracked. Hold up. <laughs> I think we're on to something. Okay. Fantastic scaling. Um, we can definitely go here. Do we want to keep Puma? Considering there's no toys, I'm going to say probably not. Do a little buy sale here. Do a little buy sale here. Grab a little stingray action. This is like low key kind of goaded. If this doesn't win, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose all faith in everything. <laughs> like, let's just take a look at this for a second. This is absolutely insane scaling. Yeah, I don't even think leveling the behemoth is good, you know? I think it's straight up just like a sort of buy sell angle. And then we can go here. Roll me. Um, let's go hamster. You go in front now. I'm worried that you're just going to kill everyone on your own. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's go here. Let's go here. We have just enough that we can go... I guess we'll give you a garlic, right? So now you're at a 61-61. Just kidding, 65-65. Absolute insanity out here, and we still get the three triggers from the silver fox. Yo This is crazy. I'm loving these two weeklies in one kind of vibe We can't get the 4-4 from the pretzel because our silly little swan is ruining it But I think it's still the right the right option Get rid of our duck. And then we roll. Scaling up you guys. I don't think you're necessary. And you're not even doing anything anymore. That's the crazy part. These guys are already kind of statted out. Maybe we do this. Is 
So I think we still stick you out front. Hopefully they don't have a behemoth out there. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> what if they do? What if they have like a nine, a hundred attack behemoth and it just takes out both of these guys? I guess it would regardless, wouldn't it? Full send. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I think we're all right. What the heck is that? Yo, now we just need to stack infinite behemoths. Can you imagine this build if these two were just behemoths? Dude, Silver Fox. <laughs> Cracked out of its mind. He's some saucy bikers. You know the type. Just dripping in the sauce. Okay, so like, the tennis ball... <laughs> those were the worst possible hits. I'm not hating. Okay, maybe a little bit. I understand the confusion, but you gotta start hitting the right guys. Well, there aren't really any right guys here, are there? That's fine. All in all, that tennis ball did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Ooh, food dog. Don't mind if I do. Welcome to the team, buddy. Is my favorite. Grab a lemur. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm so used to the good items being on the on the left. Straight up. I'll override it. Garlic press me. Now we need to get rid of the ferret for somebody good. Fantastic. Love it. And our loyal chinchilla. Loyal as always. Okay, get rid of you. I mean, stoat, maybe. I don't think so, though. Let me do this. We do this, okay, and then we lemur next turn for the radio, and then sit the the mandrill up front. That way the mandrill will break the, the radio in battle, and then we're cooking. We go here. Oh, well now I want to run old mouse though. <laughs> Alright, just kidding. Um, I do want to keep you still. But you can go. And we go here. Now we need flying squirrel. Good. I'm liking what we're seeing so far. And then, so yeah, Mandra won't work yet. We need to get him to level two to trigger these toys. Let's keep in mind, every time it breaks one of these guys... Oh, wait, that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> the fine print. No. Because you, you, you have to do that, and then it breaks and gives them whatever. I don't think that'll work. Let's try it. Science. 12 gold. Then we do this. You'll come back. And then let's see. <laughs> let's see if the mandrill breaks it. I'm thinking no. Well, it will break it, but I don't think it'll trigger. No. Okay. That ruined my whole plan. We don't want the mandrill. Three food bot is pretty doable. I want to try the old mouse level, though. We go here. We go here. Okay, we need a pill. I think that one's good, isn't it? Ooh, the buy-sell build. 
cracked. Alright. Um, it's not tier 2. Maybe that doesn't matter, though. We pill you. Let's try a tier 2. Since we can. We can definitely get rid of you. Throw in a pangolin here, I suppose. That's not bad. He's back. Um, oh wait, <laughs> we knew he was gonna come back. I was picturing that being the old mouse, getting us the same toy. Obviously that's not the case. What is this one? Spend 12 gold? That's not as useful as the 3 whatever thing. Yeah, I don't think we need a level 3 old mouse. We do need a level 2 flying squirrel. Um, let's, let's roll. Keep rolling. Okay. And 12 gold. Here to you. Still trying to find this flying squirrel. We haven't found him yet. This is the food one, right? Okay, maybe we could do a cow thing here. I kind of like that. Maybe we settle on this. If we can get the flying squirrel. Then we'll settle on the, the food bot toy. We found it. Alright, full send. It's happening. Um, We don't need to get rid of you just yet. Let's get an avocado out here. And then we can roll a few times. I like the waffle. Silver Fox is always the play. Okay. I'm actually really liking this build so far. Wait, we didn't check. Does it work? Ooh! Okay. They fixed the level up issue. That's fantastic. For those of you that don't know, the original Old Mouse Weekly, whenever you leveled up the Old Mouse, it kept it as a level 1 toy, which was a huge bummer. But it doesn't do that anymore, luckily. Okay, so now, here's what we're gonna do. We go here. We go... here. Yes, we can afford to do this. And then we go double stack you. Oh man, can you imagine if we got the silver fox? That would have been great. Um, let's get some popcorn. What are you at? I think we're only at one, so I'm not going to use it. I don't think it carries over rounds, I believe. And we're good. We're hanging in there. Is this not the greatest ever to do it? Oh, it does carry over rounds. Just kidding. I stand corrected. I'd love an avocado here. Cow me. I love it. Dude, this is just way too strong. <laughs> this is... This is absurd. I don't know why I'm not buffing you, by the way. That seems like an oversight. We need to get a behemoth out here. These guys are gonna get 50-50 so fast.
Okay, now I think we switch you back. Get the nice gradient going. How... How is your team winning? I can't figure that out. <laughs> you nuked your whole team before I even got a chance to go at them. That cannot possibly work well for you, in most cases. We could run a catfish on the cow. Hold on to you. Hold that thought. Level you. Okay. Huge. We need to find... Um, actually leave it like that. Um, we need to find a, a waffle or another cow. Either of those would be great. Three hits on the silver fox. Love to see it. Could not ask for anything better. Why'd you die? Oh, do you just time out? <laughs> that works too, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Hold on to you. Give me a cow, give me a waffle. There's the waffle. And then... Can we do it like this? Okay. Now at this point, I think the Mosasaurus goes in favor of the catfish. I, th I don't think we're going to get you level 3. I hate to say it. Give you a durian, I suppose. Dude, this might be the strongest hacking build ever. <laughs> what the heck? The economy toy scaling is like, it might be a little too strong, but like it doesn't feel broken. It just feels really fun and really good to play. <laughs> and that's the sweet spot in my opinion. I think that's a great way to do it. Um, Ladybug Beetle actually fits very well together. It's a natural combination. Oh, and we're good. We get a win. First win of the weekly. Coming right up. Heck yes. Please and thank you. What are you? Stock a one gold copy of this pet's food perk. That even good? I'll try it. I'm not sure if it is. I'm not sure if it ain't. But only one way to know, I guess. Um, so you're going to be at 3-3. So you fit in right behind our 4-3 here. Okay, good. I'm loving it. Back to the yes. Full send. Okay. So Beluga Sturgeon, we're getting some Rice Dolphins. Let's get a level first. <laughs> More Hatching Chick. Always appreciated. I think we go here and then sell beaver. I don't I don't think I would dislike our hatching chick getting a little action. I'm not sure why I worded it like that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think I think getting the hatching chick so that it it's not just like a useless unit. I I think it's pretty valuable. Okay. And we draw. We'll take it. We'll take a draw here. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so Owl gets us some Apple Synergy. Do you have like a Jerboa or something? I'm not seeing any. Maybe it's just a little, you know, you get one, one a turn. Nothing crazy, but still good. Okay, so the Rice perk 
on the chipmunk seems like a natural fit, I would say. Hold on to you, hold on to you. I think this makes sense. Is it doing anything right now? Obviously not. But is it doing something later? Yeah, in theory, right? That's the idea, at least. Love it. Okay, so now we're gonna get a tier 4. Not really what I was hoping for. Kinda done with the whale shark at this point, but you know. I think I like this. And we could be getting rid of Ladybug here. Swap it for a tropical fish. Oh man, this is tricky. So I don't want Doberman because Hatching Chick, I'm definitely looking at long term. What if we do something like, well we need a toy for this pangolin. I think that's where, where our issue is right now. So let's do this. Let's say we get rid of you. And then we look for a toy pet. Okay, we'll keep you. Still not seeing any toys. I'm actually very surprised we haven't found a toy yet. Like, lemur would be fantastic here. That might be the only toy though, so maybe that's why we haven't found anything. That's fair, you know, that's fair. Ooh, that chili is doing damage out here. Hold up. Okay, we go here, we go here. Um, straight up. Hmm. There's not a whole lot we can really do right now. We're just waiting for a toy. That's all we can do. <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, there is a, that homie, whatever he's called. Not that we really want that one for a toy, but not bad. Okay, let's get a tar, tar. I don't think we need another one. Uh, I do think we need you. I mean, straight up, maybe it's just a puppy angle, right? We could sell the chipmunk. The one that we've been buffing this whole time. <laughs> that seems great. Or maybe we get rid of the tropical fish. Honestly, hold on. What do we have here? Do we have a tier six toy? We do. Okay. I was going to say we could go for like a tier three puppy kind of vibe, but... I don't think that's the play either. All right, tropical fish can go. Let's do a a puppy. Give him some oven mitts, of course. And then hold on to this the snapping turtle. I'm gonna pill the pangolin next turn. Hopefully, level two pangolin, but we'll see. And then we'll be cooking. Oof. That one hurts. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Sell you. We got rice. That's what we're looking for here. And then let's see, go here, get a little snapping turtle action. And I'll honestly just keep these until we know what we're doing with them. Level two pangolin me, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> That's all I want. Hmm, we could run another tar as well. I'll consider it. Considering we can't seem to find anything else. It's gonna have to make, 
it, we'll have to make it work, I guess. I don't know. I'm back and forth on whether I like it or not. Okay. Off by three. You hate to see that. Okay. Ooh, we got a stingray cooking out here now. Here to you. You're in. Grab you. The octopus seems like a good fit. Right up. I think we do this. So you're gonna give chili to both of you. You're gonna go off. We give this to you. <laughs> do we even want this rice anymore? <laughs> What's the point, right? I guess we'll put it on. We'll put it on you because we're gonna sell you at some point. Put it on you, I guess. We'll either pill you or sell you. If we want to pill you, who cares? We'll make it happen. The hatching chick should not be on this guy. I don't know what's going on there. And we get it. <laughs> We're getting there. You're gonna have to forgive all of these horrible plays. Um, I genuinely am just overloaded with possibilities right now. So... I'm gonna pretend like that's the reason why I'm playing like garbage. <laughs> um, okay, so maybe we keep the Stingray Octopus with the T-Rex. Maybe that's just our play, you know? Poodle. It's kind of good, actually. Is it better than the T-Rex? Because Poodle is like whole team scaling here. Maybe. Because you're 4-4, four, four, you're 4-4, four, four, but split. I guess we want the 4-4 four, four on the octopus. We'd rather have it, like, focused on you, right? Um, so you go here. This might be a thrown round just for our flashlight potential, but who cares? <laughs> we'll let it slide. Okay, good hits, good hits. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> We're cooking out here. This is looking great. Dude, I am so glad this is a toy build. I love this. Straight up. Yeah, dude, let's cook it. Big ol' flashlight. Um, we can definitely run a puma here. I mean, this could, I hate to say it, this could be a get rid of the hatching chick angle. I know. <laughs> it's a terrifying thought. But it might be. Depends if we can get him to level 3. I'll still try. I believe in the, the cause. Okay, good hits, good hits. <laughs> oh, baby. These are some spicy rounds out here. All right, just kidding. Hatching chick for life. Okay, Tar needs a pill like ASAP. Because we, okay, Poodle's not gonna happen, but we need to get these guys cooking. Pill me. That's not a pill. I mean, I guess we're selling. I guess we're selling. Because we need this Puma out here now. It's an extra 6-6 six, six in stats. That's way better than a goofy little whatever that would be. And honestly, I think T-Rex is not long for this world. Octopus is going to be level 3 basically right now. Not level 3, I mean 50-50 basically right now. So we can swap him out. Thank you for not weaknessing my octopus. I appreciate it. We're doing it. And now we get the huge buff. <laughs> oh baby. That is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, so T-Rex, 
Get him out of here. Is it a sauropod angle? This isn't really like a, a food build weekly. I'm going to say probably not. I will throw in a mantis shrimp. We're looking for another stingray, I guess. Um, not seeing anything that I want. We have a chocolate. Maybe throw this on you, kind of diversify a little bit. We could run a poodle. I don't think it's needed, though. Okay. Ooh, we found another puma. Love to see that. Fantastic snipes, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mantis shrimp already pulling out his weight here. Huge. We'll get... I mean, maybe this is a stinky sock angle, right? So the puma kind of prefers flashlight. What if we stinky sock and then we try to look for like the coconut toy? It could be kind of good. Let's try it. I am honestly, I don't run stinky sock enough. I think it's really good. But maybe we try it out. Friendly toy. Okay, so it'll repeat it twice in battle too, I think. That's kind of good. What are you? Gain some stats? Not interested. We're pancake hatching chicks out here. <laughs> Dude. This is insane. This is absolutely insan insanity. <laughs> Absolute insanity is what I'm trying to say. Um, do we even need... I don't know if a level 3 Puma is going to help much. Okay. Oh, baby. This is fantastic. Might even give you a lemon. A key? That seems kind of good. This is dirty. <laughs> this is so dirty. I love it. Okay, well we need another stinky sock, so... Get rid of you. Well, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've located the stinky sock. Um, Maybe we'll roll for one more. I mean, is it level 3 stinky sock even that good? Or would we rather just do like a lemon? Maybe just a lemon. And like garlic. <laughs> what is that even going to do? Probably not much. We'll prepare for a level 3 next turn in case we lose. But that's basically all. Is melon better than lemon here? They're very similar wording wise. Melon, lemon. Okay, if you could have hit that guy, that would have been kind of cool. Could have gotten the coconut for me, but whatever. Yeah, maybe lemon, melon would be good here. Because it, it, it's guaranteed, more or less, to take 20 damage off. This is only going to take 14. Let's try it. And then... I guess double damage on our tier 6 guy here. Makes sense. I mean, I like where we're at. Oh, shoot. Didn't move the hatching chick. We got the achievement, though, so that's good. <laughs> okay. I mean, these moles are just wrecking your team, brother. <laughs> Thank you for throwing. Um, <laughs> we got our level... Level uh, 3 Stingray Achievement 10 win. Love to see it. Fantastic start to the weekly. I'm loving this. I have high hopes for this weekly. On to the next one.